it is Friday morning and I am off on an adventure. <laughs> Not really, just going to the store. But today kicks off the uh, countdown to Christmas on Hallmark. Yay! So I couldn't, I, I've been going through, uh, I went through Hallmark's Movies and Mysteries this morning to find movies to record. And for years now, they have left out two of my favorite movies, so I have to go rent them on YouTube. And that is uh, Angels and Ornaments. Wow, that guy was really close to hitting my car. Whoa. And um, Mr. Miracle. And I found them on YouTube, so at least they're there. But anyway, I'm going to Dollar Tree in search of red truck stuff. And I'm going to go to uh, Schnucks or Walmart because I need sour cream. I'm not doing anything fancy for uh, cooking as far as the weekend. I'm going to mix uh, a pound of grass-fed ground beef with a couple of small packages of chorizo. And uh, that's pretty much going to be along, you know, I'm also going to do the green beef and canned chicken. So that's pretty much what I'm going to do for the weekend. So that's going to be it for right now. Uh, I will probably show you what I get from the Dollar Tree if I get anything. But for right now, I'm just going to go to Schnucks. I'm also looking, I know that Target has stuff. I really don't want to go all the way to Target today. But it's not like it's that far away, but I really just don't want to go that way today. Target is about, uh, it's less than 10 minutes away. I'll wait to go there maybe sometime next week or the week after. I don't know. Alrighty, so I'll check back in a little bit. Have a great day. This is a view of uh, the street that comes into my neighborhood, and I just wanted to show the fall trees. And this is like the main drag. It's not the street I live on. All right, I am back from the store. Believe it or not, I walked out of Dollar Tree empty-handed. Nothing there and inspired me. <laughs> um, I did have one glass. It was a fall glass um, in my cart. And I have one, but it's in storage, so I thought I'd go ahead and get another one. Uh, but the line, there was only one register open, and the line was way too long. I'm not going to stand here in this long line for one item, so I left empty-handed. But I went to Schnucks first, and uh, they uh, their protein shakes are way too expensive, so I, I knew I was going to have to go to Walmart anyway, because also Schnucks does not have any distilled water anymore. I cannot find it anywhere, and I'm almost, uh, well, my my gallon of distilled water for my BiPAP is like about halfway empty and I go through it pretty quick so anyway I will turn the camera around and show you what little I did get okay so from Walmart I got two gallons of the distilled water uh, this I got uh, I can't remember. oh I got this one at Schnucks and then I got one tuna at Schnucks. It was on sale at a dollar eighty-nine, which uh, which I guess is a pretty good price because they're two usually two dollars and twenty-nine cents. Uh, I got this from Walmart along with the pork crack ones. And I was looking, I think it was Rosio, uh, I'm not that, uh, I don't remember, but I think it was Rosio who had said she had gotten the uh, International Delight Zero Sugar. Um, well, neither store had the uh, seasonal flavors, but they did have the Caramel Macchiato, which I really, really like a lot. So I went ahead and got that, and I didn't have to make a trip to Target because Schnucks had these, although Target would probably be less expensive. I don't know how much these were, but 
Snickerdoodle is my very favorite cookie flavor. And then uh, I got more of the Equate uh, caramel shakes. And then I got one of these from Schnucks. Uh, I usually get these once a month, like at the beginning of the month, but I didn't get any last time. So, yeah. Uh, that is actually it for my grocery haul. And I'm getting ready to cook these. And I'm just going to cook them together. I don't know yet if I'm going to make any chopples. I don't I don't really know if I want to fool with that. <laughs> so I might. I don't know. So anyway, I'm just going to cook these all up together in the same pan and add some seasoning and some onions. And that's going to be for the weekend. Along with the uh, canned chicken and green beans mixed together, I'll probably put some bacon crumbles in that. So anyway, got my coffee here. This mug actually, I really like the mug, but it kind of drives me crazy because I'm right-handed and the logo goes away. <laughs> so anyway, I'll check back in a little bit. Hey there. So I'm sitting downstairs just, uh, cooling off for a few minutes and uh i was going to can, can you tell i'm so gross <laughs> I'm sweating it's cold outside which feels good to me but i'm sweating and uh it's very windy so that's why i look a wreck right now but anyway i was going to add to something i was talking about yesterday so, uh, someone had asked me about my uh my name and uh, uh when i first started my channel my channel name was Keto Mo, and I, I don't know if anybody remembers that or not, but uh, so people on Facebook would ask me, well, what's the name of your channel? Uh, you know, I'll go subscribe, and I was informed that when uh, Keto Mo was put into the search, inappropriate things come up. <laughs> so that is why I changed it to Keto Marnie, <laughs> but uh, Mo is also a nickname of mine. Uh, I don't hear it as much as I used to, um, but uh, in high school, when my ex-husband and I were dating, uh, his last name is Oliver, so uh, a mutual friend of ours started calling me Mo, even though me and my ex-husband weren't married yet, of course, we were still in high school, he just started calling me Mo. And then uh, when I got pregnant, he started calling me Prego Mo. <laughs> and he and his girlfriend at the time were the only ones that called me Mo. And uh, I was working at a place called Dirt Cheap in the early 90s. And he happened to come in from, he lives in California. Uh, and he was coming in for a visit and... Uh, he, ref he called me Mo. That's what I've always known him to call me. I've never really actually ever heard him call me anything else. And, uh, uh, so when he came in, other people that I work with heard him call me Mo. So they started calling me Mo, which did not sit well with him. He did not like that. He's like, I'm the only one that calls you that. <laughs> He says, I'm special. I'm the only one that gets to call you that. Well, anyway, <laughs> it kind of stuck. So uh, they all call me Mo. But now, uh, since I no longer work there, when he comes into town, that is what he still calls me. He still calls me Mo. So <laughs> he's the only one that calls me that. I don't have a problem being called that by anybody else. But for the, the past 30, 35 years... He's been calling me Mo. So that's where that name came from. Uh, my ex-husband and I have been divorced for 32 years. Something, yeah, 32 years. No, 33, or 31 years. Well, we, we divorced in September of 89. We got married in February of 88, and then we divorced September of 89. But we are the best of friends. Um... Uh, me and his girlfriend are, are good friends. So uh, he lives in Illinois now. 
and me and him were actually roommates before I moved back in here. I'd say probably about a year before I moved back in here. He and I were roommates uh, for five or six years, and we were we were best friends. Uh, he was he's more like a brother to me now. <laughs> I, I I can't think of ever uh, I I couldn't imagine myself being married to him now. <laughs> Because we're, we're too much like siblings. Um, but uh, anyway, that is the story of Keto Mo. And that is why the reason why I changed it is because inappropriate things were coming up. So anyway, I'm getting ready to go upstairs and cook the, uh, the grass-fed ground beef and the chorizo. And my sister just called me. My, uh, my nephew and his wife were having a baby and uh, the due date was going to be June, but she just called me, my sister called me to let me know that she had a miscarriage. So that's sad news. Uh, so that's it for now. I'm going to go up and cook. I hope everyone has a great day. I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, this is for the weekend. This is the uh, package of breastfed ground beef, two packages of chorizo. And I put in it... Uh, some garlic, some minced garlic, and onions, just frozen onions, and then I also put onion powder, salt, and turmeric in it. So this is for the weekend. So here is my lunch. <laughs> it is just the uh, ground beef and sausage mix that I made this morning. And a Hallmark movie. There's my man. He's my main Hallmark man. I tell ya. Yummy. Anyway. And I got some coffee. I put uh, some cheddar cheese in there. What little bit of avocado I could get out of the one that I just opened. Of course it was not perfect. And I put a little bit of uh, bacon crumbles on there. So this is lunch. And Someone is waiting for me to drop some lunch. <laughs> it's time for Rocky's apple. <laughs> hey there. So <laughs> I look a mess. I just got out of the shower. So that's why my hair is wet. So anyway, um, it is time to close this day out. I did not record my dinner, but it was the same as lunch. So no no need to record it anyway so um i totally forgot i was gonna say something and now it is totally gone out of my head i have no idea what i was gonna say um, well sometime next week i've got it written down i'm going to do a favorite cups video like the one Lori did uh Lori at fluffy no more so uh anyway since it is the weekend. I'm going to go ahead and close this. I won't do any recording for the weekend. I um, guess that's it. <laughs> I'm going to work on my blanket for a while, watch Hallmark movies, Christmas movies, yay! And that's it. <laughs> so I hope everyone has a great weekend and uh, if you could give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel I would really appreciate that and I will see you on Monday.